<laughs> I talked to uh, Max Burkholder, the star of Ted on Peacock. Put an onion ring in that one. Dear future Ted, it's me, 1993 Ted. If you're reading this, it means we got a new series on the most successful streaming platform ever. Ted is one of my favorite movies of all time. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. So I was really excited to learn that Peacock was doing this series. And to be honest with you, I was looking forward to you being with a bear. I thought that I thought that this was interview was with both of you. Oh, God, I'm sorry. He's uh, I left him. I left him back at uh, my parents' place in L.A. Otherwise, he'd be with me during all this, all, all this whole press tour. Oh, but we would have to bleep out so much of what he says. I found the movie and the series to be oddly relatable. Like I had that stuffed animal. Did you have that? Stuffed animal oh, best friend. Oh yeah, I I he was like he, he got me through like when I was three years old. My my parents we we moved. I was very upset. I wanted to stay in the old house to get me through it. They got me this like at the time to me it was giant. It was bigger than I was, but <laughs> now it's very small. Uh, like black horse stuffed animal that I I very intelligently named Blakey, and <laughs> my little guy. Uh, slept with him, still have him. He's still he's still back there in L.A. Did he have the vocabulary that Ted had, though? Because that's what really makes Ted special. No, he didn't have the vocabulary that Ted had. No, that's uh, that was that was my mom, actually. Yeah. <laughs> How was it for you mastering that Boston accent? Because I think you nail it. I know you're from L.A., so. Yeah, that... I uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I had to uh, I had to learn it for. Uh, for an audition for something years ago that I did not get. Uh you and uh, into it right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's subtle. It's not it's not this like big thing that people think it is. It's subtle. Yeah. Uh uh and then in the lead I I, I worked with a dialect coach for a little bit uh for the audition and then the studio uh set me up with one a few months out from when we started shooting. Uh and that <laughs> that was really helpful. It was really important to me actually to get it right. Because if you know anything about uh, the people of Boston, it's that they're very vocal when they feel like you're not getting their accent right. And I yeah. just wanted to avoid any any sort of verbal or physical altercation, <laughs> if possible. Yeah. Well, you're nailing it. Congratulations on this series. It's so much fun.